Hello everybody. I will be doing what must be done. I don't know why I'm buying that to be exact. Starting with the crystalline flask might actually be the best in this situation. Considering the fact that I'm up against the asses, but you guys will learn that momentarily. Hmm. Best to get Counter Strike Force. So, while we're on our way to lane, I thought I'd get, tell you guys about the schedule. I'll also be posting in the description, of course, but I'm hoping to do mid Mondays, top Tuesdays, Django Wednesdays, support Thursdays, and ADC Fridays. Of course, I've decided that since I, the schedule time is for all those weekdays are at 3. Because that's pretty much when I'm right home from school. And usually I'm not busy home from school. As soon as I'm home from school. Because I don't usually do homework till later that day. So I should be able to really help to get out the videos then. So let's go over the teams. Uh, after I tell you about the Saturdays. So I'm going to be streaming Saturdays now. And I'll be having my subscriber Sundays. So streaming on Saturday will occur at 6.30. And at 7.30, I'll have the subscriber Sundays for people who want to play. But sadly, the thing is, at the moment, I have ch ch I have to go to church on Sunday at 6. So, that's why it's so late. So, hopefully you guys can still join me. So, let's see. We have Mid Yasuo, Support Blitzcrank, ADC Callista, Jungle Nocturne, and Top Jax. And by the way, Temple Jax. I thought that was a cool looking skin for him. On the enemy team, they have, I think, Mid Kale, Top Nasus, Support Thresh, ADC Jinx, and Jungle Master Yi. This is gonna be fun. Just because Dax is someone who loves to free farm. Just like Nasus. So, this is gonna be the awesome kind of lane that you just, like, watch me get farm. Or you can watch me miss farm. I don't know. I'm pretty bad at it. I like, uh, uh, I'm bad at it. I know that. Okay, guys, I've gotten one farm to this Nasus too, so we're both doing pretty bad, so that's my only, like, rel form of relief. I don't know why. I th I'm pretty sure I should be getting some of these. I want What? I mean, like, I don't know how I'm missing some of these. Like, these things should be, like, almost, like, too easy to get. You guys know, like... That was confusing. Now I'm gonna pop a flask, not because I need to heal, but mostly because I just need that mana because I used my spells too much, I guess. So Nasus is now outfarming me, three to five or six, I think. Now I'm just gonna be going ahead and getting some farm with my Q. Okay, so I'm standing in this because I don't care. Okay, because I don't want to miss that, of course. <laughs> Nasus is good with his Q, Q poke. Okay, that was bad of me. Uh, I got caught out. I was hoping to beat his face in enough that I could do enough damage. But that didn't work out. Guys? But we know next time, of course, that we're going to start beating people up super strongly. I don't know why Nasus is fighting. I mean, Nocturne is fighting. They have any of their names. It's easy to mistake them. So I'll say, Savvy Team. But I died before the full man mark, meaning I don't think they get as much from the Force Blood Gold. But I still need to be careful. Nasus is only too far ahead of me. Ugh. I need to be safe. He's right. But I mean, like, I'm jacked. I like pounding people's faces in. Uh, maybe. Oh, no. Maybe. Okay, guys, if you don't know, this makes me able to dodge things. So, uh, I know. I'm in, staying in the minion wave. You guys don't have to tell me. I just wanted to get that farm. Uh, got it. So, I use my W to empower myself. Power my autos. Of course, that's kind of how things work here with Jax. He's known for getting attack speed and just ordering people to death. He's known by his signature thwap, 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 thwap against a turret. So instead, I'm going to get 
points on my W just so I can like slam the opponent's faces in with my W. Okay, I thought I had that, but I guess not. But let's see, I should be able to get that one just fine. And I should be able to get that one. So we're starting to farm better. We're actually like actually out farming the Nasus. Okay. Now we just have to run. We don't have a ignite anymore. If we didn't use that before, we might have been able to fight that. And we are out of mana in the first place. So that's why we're using our flask. Okay, so Nocturne is here, so we should be able to fight this. Let's just have Nocturne end it. He should be able to win. So, good job. Awesome ganks. TY for the help. I'm just going to take TY because I wasn't really going to fight him, but having him there to help was a big help. Hmm. Hmm. Jax, how do you build Jax? I'm pretty sure you have to build um this, but I'm not going to do that yet, mainly because I don't have the intended items. And I'll go start with my Brutalizer, because that's a common top thing, I believe. You get Brutalizer and you smack people's faces in. That is all I know about, about top jacks. Brutalizer, I should build that into either Yomu's Ghost Blade, because he actually, Jax kind of excels with a lot of attack speed. Because that, because every third attack on his passive, for his ult, every third consecutive strike, he deals like extra damage. So, after getting your ult, that is like a passive that lasts forever. So, continuously, like, having more attack speed allows you to get off more of that empowered strike. And that actually goes ahead and lets you, well, I think empowered, empower is that. So, I don't know what this is. It's Grand Master's Might. Basically, I just get a special, especially strong auto attack off on my opponent. So if you guys didn't see what happened there, he actually went ahead and tried to Q me, I believe. But I think I negated it with my dodge, because auto attacks don't work on Jax if you use your while you have your E. So that's kind of what's good. And if you guys saw that little flash of light, yeah, that that means that's my ult actually working. Okay, just want to be in close enough range that I can jump on him and kill him. So you guys see, actually, Jack's top is actually really strong. So, Nasus is a strong tank, but if you have, like, this really strong damage, especially because I don't think he was level 6 yet, so there was no way he was going to fight me, I, you have to make some early aggression to that Jax, actually, because make use of that whole fact that they can't go ahead and... Nasus is very poor at fighting until he gets Q-Stacks or his ult. And now I just actually like go hit this. And now we thought our attack will just do an amazing amount of damage. So that's why he's actually really strong. Because it makes me able to destroy towers. Just listen to that thwap. Just going to jump out there. Don't want to get hit by the minions. Okay, that's good. Now we run. We have no idea what Master Yi is, but that's good. He's nowhere near the top lane. I know that with my ward. He now has his ult, which is why we should be careful until we can get our ult. Because once we have it activated, it just increases our strain. It increases, we get armor and magic resist, so that just makes it actually even easier to fight him. Not only do you have the every third auto attack becomes like OP. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's probably not the best way to put it, but it just ends up making me able to take more damage so even though Jax isn't really a tank he goes ahead and does a lot of damage because of it I don't know if this is the way it works but I've heard that I mean this is a theory I've come up with I haven't really put any like testing on it because I don't play Jax that often but my brother mentioned this up mentioned this Wait, wait. Oh, I, I thought he was actually going to come in. But I guess we'll just run. And I'm going to get more Q damage. Good. Sally. Okay. 
How? Why? Are you kidding me? I think perhaps, just perhaps, Blitzkrank made a little poor judgment in his poll, but I wasn't there to check, sadly. And maybe I shouldn't have backed, because Nasus can also take towers down pretty easily, because he has his Q. So hopefully, you guys saw what I did to his tower, right? So hopefully, I don't go ahead and, <laughs> he doesn't go ahead and do that to my tower. Okay, it doesn't seem like he can. Because, I don't know, is he building tankish? Uh, it's hard to check, but let's hit Y. Not Y, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Y. But let's click him. Okay, he's building pretty much tank at this point. So, we're pretty good here. We should be able to fight him whenever he wants to come at us. But I'm just here for the farm. I'm not even here to fight Nasus. Just gonna go ahead and beat him up. I don't know why he's trying to fight me. Okay, he got his Q off. Okay, good. That could have been used to farm. So now he can't use it on me to attack. So, Nocturne died. Uh, where? Okay, that was, that was, um, Callista's voice. I don't know why we heard that. Uh, I'm thinking about roaming. It would be easier to roam if I had teleport. Because usually top lane get teleport, but I was going to go full aggressions today. Being a fighter and all. Especially because having teleport against a Nasus isn't that great. Mainly because Nasus has a lot of healing potential coming out of him. So, I just knew that we had to go ahead and do something else to get his attention. Uh, what? That still hit us, guys? We were already, like, out of there with our jump. I think this game is hacking for him. Nasus is hot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't don't call me out on that, Plith. Okay. So, at this point, <laughs> let's look at the enemy team. So, Kale is doing pretty well, and so is the Jinx. But other than that, none of them are really too overly powered or fed or anything. So, we should be fine to continue on in top lane. Just because we don't have to worry too much about any other lanes at this point. So, I'm just going to go stun him with my... E, because if I I don't I haven't ex I don't think I explained this yet, but if you attack someone with your well, you activate your E, and then after a while you can activate all your, or you could just let go of it pretty later on. But it stuns. You guys see? Just gonna use it on that. Guess I couldn't really go up and smack him with it, but it's no big loss. So right now, Nasus is very behind. Let's see, he has 150 stacks, so his Q should be monumental. But the thing is with him, if you can get away, like, not take that Q, but, okay, I don't know, was he trying to get that farm, or is Master Yi nearby? That's what you gotta consider. He got aggressive, and that could have been his life if I decided to go aggressive. So Master Yi might be nearby. Let me check for any wards. Okay, there's no wards. Okay, so guys, I was afraid of Nasus' ult, and he did ulti, but one thing I was actually a little afraid of, to be completely honest, was I was afraid of his ult, because I didn't know if I'd be able to kill him with it, because he would suddenly have gained a lot of health. Uh, come to me, my friend. Master Yi should back off. He's gonna, gonna get into a world of hurt if he doesn't. Okay, so, now that he's backed off, we should definitely, oh no, oh no, dang it, that ult, good job, sorry I didn't expect the kill, the kill ult, my bad guys, you always kind of got to expect your enemy has their A game when they come to fight you. Or else you might just lose. Like I said before, I'm probably going to go ahead and just go get this part of it when I have enough. 
But now he might be able to get it because he has a lot of Q damage. But other than that, he doesn't really have much damage because, as you guys saw, he has been mainly building full-on tank except that. Now that actually powers after using the ability his auto attack. So that actually might make his Q really strong. What? He died. He died to the turret with like 12 health left. Uh, let's see. It has... My th the thing that tells me how many FPS I have from the program I have for recording covers it up, so I really can't tell how much health it has, sadly. But it's it's very um very little. I assure you guys that. I can see that it has like next to no health. Okay, you guys probably don't see this thing in the corner, but it just tells me that I'm recording, and it tells me how many FPS I have. Pretty much reflects that. It's not the most useful thing in the world, but. It's nice to have something that tells you that, lets you know that exactly when you're, what you're recording. Cause that's, I kinda depend on that, after, cause it tells me it's initializing when I start. Okay, so we both use our ults. Oh no. Dang it. I kind of expected him because he was going in getting a little cocky that he has to use nearby, but I was hoping I could completely destroy him before then. And I can. I can completely wreck his face. Oh well, but I still got his turret, so that's good. But as you guys see, Nasus actually has a lot of sustain. So, I left him with very little health, but he's got more than double that now. I'm going to say that I'm hoping Nocturne, Nocturne will help defend, and it seems Nocturne is going into our jungle. So perhaps he's counter jungling, which Nocturne won't like. Oh, he might be. Okay, I was afraid that he might be in that bush. Nocturne was about to enter, but it seems like he's okay. Okay, Nocturne, don't die. Okay. So he just kind of went ahead and used his ult to get out of that. I guess that's just how scary I am. But we don't know if he's not... Okay, he's warding. I was afraid that he was going to go there and that he was just, like, waiting for the Nocturne. Because Nocturne may, may... It's kind of like a thing for you to see. You ulted for its put. But sometimes you go ahead and see, like, people who are very low or, like, in, who might die, but in chances of getting an enemy might just be, like, waiting to go ahead and get them like that's something I might have done as the master D, I mean I wouldn't put it past him because I myself would have done it I totally would have waited in that bush to kill the Nocturne even if it meant my own life in the process you know sometimes the kill is just worth it you've tasted the blood in your mouth and you want more no matter the price oh I'm dodging all those special auto attacks and I still have my my flask I just went ahead and got my, got in here, uh, what, that was longer than I expected it to be, but, like I said, this thing gives you, a uh, shield, and it's stronger over time, so, just going ahead and getting it. Huh, bot lane. <laughs> when, when, your bot, bot lane, help, plus. They'll, they'll win game up. The problem is, like, they're gonna, like, actually, like, win the game just from pushing this far. Like, I can imagine them finishing it here if no one comes back. Yeah, they might, if, if we don't get, if they, like, can push fast enough, they could actually have won it here if they, if, cl like, look at that. They're taking our inhibitor. They're taking our, they can t probably take one of our turrets if they're not careful. Okay, now there's, like, no one here yet. Right now, since our team isn't really here, they didn't have any particularly more kills or more particular more like any reason they should be. Reason that they should be. Okay, I got that. So that's good. I was hoping to get that too, but can't get them all, guys. Remember that. And now that. Nasus, Jinx, and Thresh are dead. Pushing is very possible. 
That is a very possible thing. It seems like Kale is going to die to the Nocturne. Don't think we have to worry too much about him. Master Yi's top. So in general, this should be a pretty easy thing. Just let this whole toad die. That's the thing. They may be able to push, but the fact that they stayed so long only came to be their downfall. See, like, look at that. They have strong pushes, but, like, unlike... We don't have... They don't have a really super strong tank. That would have been their Nasus. But, uh... It's a lost cause. It's a lost cause. Just leave her. That was a lost cause. I'm not going to let anyone tell me otherwise. Let's see if we can just jump this. Okay. See if we can't jump from them from behind. Okay, I got that. Now let's just go ahead and... Let's steal power from the Jinx. Ah, uh, dang. Ha. Uh, Cause you don't know how to play. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Now I can get the play of the Root King. I'll get more damage. Cause when I'm a fighter, I don't like going any kind of thing. You didn't help in the foot. Yeah. Like, you see, this is a thing we probably could have done. I would say just defend. The fan, like, if we can defend this, and I think we can pretty easily, especially since I'm about to be up, like, we don't have to worry at all about, like, this game. Sure, some people may have died just now. But let's see if I can't just get these guys. Oh, crud. Oh dang. Nocturne. Nocturne. Okay, I know. We should have definitely have thought about a little bit e going easy on that, but I thought maybe Nocturne would have came in. And I didn't expect the whole welcoming committee, I guess you could say. Huh. Guys. Let's group mid and not fight or not we could or top or top I don't, I don't care I don't have any preference for pushing as long as we can get objectives okay so yeah Nas is actually pretty strong because we did trade a lot of kills okay so I think we should have this pretty well off So let's see. Nasus is probably the biggest threat here. Yep, he was the biggest threat. I keep thinking my empowered auto attack will be my Q. Where is everyone? We were dead. Kalista. That's the thing. You can't really complain considering we all were dead and I came to top lane as fast as I could. And yeah. Okay, so Callista, I think Yasuo should have this. They're not anything too strong in pushing power. And Callista is definitely probably going to take this fight into her own hands. So, let's see. I think we could fight this. But apparently, Callista just wants to leave. Okay. So, apparently, I think Jinx just ulted the mid lane. Down the mid lane. Uh... Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't really th I didn't think Jinx old. <laughs> you have enough. Okay. Don't be so snippy. You don't have to be so snippy. I'm apologizing. I'm saying it's my bad. I thought you had it. 
And I'm, I'm saying, I, I didn't say it was your fault, I just said I thought you had it. I didn't have to say anything wrong about you. So you don't have to be, like, rude. Maybe I made a mistake. Now I'm gonna run for my life. Because the Yasuo should be able to have this. Okay. I'm just gonna go back. Good job. I'm gonna go get my phage. Because that will give me some health. Because I realize now that I die pretty fast. At first, I, the Nasus Qs are pretty strong. And I guess I've been underestimating them to an extent. But I kind of assume that it was just because he, he had a lot of Q stacks, which could be the case, but it seems like also I'm probably very squishy. The only, like, real thing I have going for me is when I can go ahead and QE so I can prevent myself from taking too much damage. Okay, good. Now let's go mid lane. Okay, so let's see if the Blitzcrank has this. I believe in him. Okay, yeah, I guess it's probably better if we go ahead and push instead of farming. I mean, instead of going ahead and trying to catch kills, we should be pushing. Okay, so let's see. I don't know, bot lane. I would not go too far for this. I mean... We could probably fight that if we had our bot lane with us and they're coming. But that's a little late, guys. So let's see if we can't just go ahead and... Huh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Hey, that was nobody's fault but yourself. You can't be like, ah. let's see, Nastis is probably getting on his way to being fed. I could have probably killed the Jinx, but I was hoping I could punch her, but I believe, I'm not going to say this is entirely Blitzwing's fault. That wasn't a good fight to begin with. We need to team fight now. We have three people off. Doing thing, doing nothing, doing nothing. You guys can't read that. You guys cannot speak English. I, I don't believe that. I'm just gonna stare at my poncho. We did ping mid for ten minutes. Not what are you talking about? You left mid first, and you ran up top. Ah, uh, guys, gotta stop fighting. We still have a good chance at winning this. We just have to remain friendly with each other. They got Baron. Apparently some at some point. Okay, so I'm gonna protect top lane. You guys stay mid, I'll I'll stop Nasus's push. Okay. I'm just gonna be like do 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 Just gonna go ahead and go ahead do that. Who cares? gonna go mm. good job just gonna say that now I probably have to back like immediately and I have to be careful for jinx ults cuz there's any chance that that could happen of course that I'm just gonna say that's a given considering the fact that that Jinx was there, and she probably, if she was seeing the minion was here, so they probably saw me get into that bush. So, in all honesty, that was a real risk for me. But I was, the only sad thing I feel is my team wasn't there to provide backup. Okay, guys, we should probably back off. Their team is most likely on their way. Okay. So Nessus is on his way. Let 
They don't see us here, and they're gonna push mid, so we should be there to counter. Okay, so I'm gonna say we should just get out. At this point, there's no way we could actually really fight this too easily. Okay, I'm gonna run. Okay, that was good. We got her. Okay. So, I should be fine. Okay, yep, I should definitely be fine. Sadly, I don't know too much about our team, our turrets, if we don't continue to really fight this well. Okay, I tried my best to keep them off the turret. And I'm gonna stick by that. It's just choice. Okay, stop getting hooked. That was an obvious hook. I mean, of course, I was obviously able to be... Focusing the tank. What are you talking about? He was... He's gonna kill the turret if you don't stop him. He was the one focusing the turret. What, what do you want me to do? Focus fresh? There wasn't a good focusing target around there anywhere. Guys. Uh, I feel like this was something we could have completely avoided if, you know, people stopped trying to yell at each other and be mean. I'm just saying. I feel like it was not anyone's fault but the team's fault that's kind of what you gotta hope in this game because we had Yasuo was strong I was strong Jinx was strong we had no central tank and that was not like we had a really strong offense but we had a very weak defense is what I'm saying so I have to say that's something you gotta take into mind that was we didn't have the best team comp I guess you could say so that's okay <sighs> breathe we had a very bad way of fighting where we kind of just go in all mad crazy especially in that last fight when we when Yasuo focused Master Yi I mean I want to Master Yi too and that's why Kale ulted him but I was kind of just there with my stun hoping to stun the majority of the team getting some CC down so I hope you guys could learn some things and maybe learn what not to do from some of our teammates actions you have to think about being different different ways of doing things we didn't have a tank so team fights probably shouldn't have been a thing we should have been getting for, for picks so hopefully you guys enjoy the scheduling plan i have set out for you guys i've talked for about a few minutes and i'm sure you guys have probably stopped paying attention by now or even if you got this far but hopefully if you guys enjoyed the video like and like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on the league of legends